Hello everybody, Brian Fazio, Newton County's Public Information Officer here. Did you know September is Emergency Preparedness Month? You never know when an emergency situation or a disaster can strike, and we would like you and your family to be prepared. So please, stay tuned to this video for some tips on how to be prepared for any emergency that may strike. Being prepared is a part of who you are. But it's especially important in the case of a disaster. It's up to everyone to make a plan about possible emergencies in your area and the best responses for your personal circumstances. There's no one more capable of planning for your situation than you. Be informed, make a plan, build a kit, get involved. Visit ready.gov slash myplan. An emergency can strike at any time, so make a plan today. Build an emergency preparedness kit. Having a few things set aside in case of emergency can make a huge difference for your family's safety. Hey everybody, Stephanie with the American Red Cross here, and right now I'm building my emergency kit, and I want to show you what I'm putting in it so that you can build one at home too. So let's start off with the first aid kit, very important. Got some band-aids, got some gauze, anything you need to help if you get an injury or if one of your family members get one. You'll want drinking water too, so you can get some of these emergency packs or you can get bottled water. Here's one version of it. You could also get one of these gallon containers to fill up with water as well. Ziploc baggie with all the important documents that you do not want to get wet in case there is some flooding or some severe rain, so very important to have that as well. Emergency blanket in case you get cold and, and need to keep warm. We are experiencing the coronavirus pandemic, so it's very important for you guys to just have gloves in your kit, some masks for you and your family members, hand sanitizer, and you'll want to keep up to date with your local news. So this is a hand cranked radio, it also doubles up as a flashlight, so super helpful two-in-one deal right here. We've got the emergency poncho in case it gets rainy. You don't want to get wet. Great to have these in your emergency kit. So this to disinfect, to clean um, surface areas. So keep that with your hand sanitizer. Got some tape just in case. And we always got to have our phones charged, right? So you want to make sure you get a battery pack, some extra chargers to keep those phones charged in case you need them in case of an emergency. And obviously you want some non-perishable food items. So here we've got some cans, we've got some peanut butter, some granola bars in case you get hungry and you're not able to get some food. So this is my emergency kit. Hope you can build yours too. These are just a few things you can do to make sure you're ready for an emergency situation. To see what else you can do to prepare yourself and your family, be sure to check out a website at ready.gov. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you learned a few things about emergency preparedness. There's one more tool that you can utilize to stay prepared in case of emergency. If you go to our website, ncboc.com, there's a button at the top for a Code Red app. With that app you download onto your phone, It'll tell you an emergency situation is coming up right here in our community. These tools and other are available at our website and simply just check back and see what we have to offer you to stay prepared. Once again, I'd like to thank you for joining me and please stay tuned for the next Newton Update.